Lu Jun is one of the greatest weightlifters of all time. He decided to partner with some company in China and come out with their own weightlifting equipment. This is their E1 Power Bar, and it's actually a pretty good bar. Let's discuss. Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and today we're reviewing the E1 Power Bar from Lu Jun Barbell. This is their Power Bar. I have their weightlifting bar, competition bar, which we will review in the future. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe. However, this is their one dedicated specifically for powerlifting. So what I mean by that is all the specs are lined up specifically for those of you that like to lift heavy in the squat, the bench, and the deadlift. Let's discuss the specs. So the E1 is 20 kilograms in weight, which is you know, right around 45 pounds, but they're making it 20 kilograms, which is like an IPF standard. It is plus or minus 1% of that guaranteed or the replace your bar, which is nice. It uses a diameter of 29 millimeters, which is a standard power bar diameter, unless you're using a Texas power bar, which is 28 and a half millimeters. It has an IPF standard knurl and uses a bushing in each side for the spin. Now, one of the unique parts of this bar that I really don't understand is the coating on the sleeves. They say it's a QPQ coating. It's not something I've ever heard of. I really can't find a lot of information on the old Google. So if any of you guys know what it is, feel free to chime in in the comments. But they say that it's different than like black oxide or black zinc. So, so far it's turned out to be pretty good. I don't know if they put that in there because every time we review and there's a black sleeve, I say that's a bad idea because it ends up looking marred and scarred very quickly. However, I will say after putting plates on this, it doesn't look too bad. It actually looks pretty good. However, the shaft I would say is probably a black zinc coating. It's a, you know, Darth Vader death destroyer looking bar. When I put in my Rep Fitness monochromatic black and white rack, it looks pretty darn sweet. You throw some black plates on it and it's absolutely mean. Now, the knurling is aggressive. It's more aggressive than I would say in most like general purpose bars. However, it's not crazy aggressive. In fact, I wish it was a little bit more aggressive. I would say this is somewhere in between like a mammoth bar from American Barbell and like a rogue Ohio power bar, okay? So it's not like, I don't notice necessarily a volcano neural. Um, they do chop the tops off, but it looks kind of flat rather than concave on the inside. So it is aggressive. You throw some chalk on, it's gonna grip your calluses. However, it's not like overly done. In comparison to some other bars out there, this is 288 bucks shipped to your door with free shipping. It's a pretty darn good price, pretty good budget you know, blend there. However, I will say that at that price point, you've got to compare it to the Rogue Ohio Power Bar, which is less when you factor in shipping and everything else if you go with their bare steel option, which is a made in the USA proven option. Now this is using 200K tensile strength steel, which means it shouldn't whip, especially at 29 millimeters, unless it's a really heavy weight. However, the price point is good, but I do think that there's, you know, good options out there that are you know similar in price point. American Barbell, their lower end powerlifting barbells are excellent bars. The Texas Power Bar is gonna be somewhere in here with price. So is the Rogue Ohio Power Bar. And all of those bars are made in the USA, whereas this one, although it's you know made by Lu Jun company, it's still made in China, so it's imported over. Now that's not to say it's not a good bar. I'm a fan of this bar. I like the center neural, I like the look of it. However, with most black bars, they will end up looking kind of like corroded and faded out over time. So just be aware that just because it looks like this out of the box doesn't mean it'll look like that after a bunch of training. So should you get this bar? Yes, if you want something that's a little bit unique and different. I like the bar and if you can get it in stock, that's one of the things right now that people are dealing with is they can't get bars in stock. So if you need one that's in stock, this is a good option. However, I will say I favor the Rogue Ohio Power Bar at their price point. I favor some of the American barbells at their price point and I favor the Texas Power Bar if you're okay with a 28 and a half millimeter diameter on the bar over this one. However, it's a good option. Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. What do you think? We'll see you next time. Peace.